Hello guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to easily deploy uh, your PostgreSQL database with help of uh, Docker and uh, after that to manage your PostgreSQL uh, with help of the Beaver tool. So uh, the first step we need uh, to get Docker. So you need to go to docs.docker.com and get Docker. And you need to choose um, uh, your database. So there is version for Mac, for Linux and for Windows. In this uh, video I will use Windows operating system. So push Docker Desktop for Windows and you need to push Docker Desktop for Windows and install necessary packet. Well, after that, you need to go to docker uh, the beaver.io download and install the beaver tool. There are the versions for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. So uh, let's, uh, as I already mentioned, we will use Windows, so install Windows. And uh, if you have another operating system, you can easily install uh, the packets for your operating system and uh, after that do what I do after. So now I want to open, uh, I will open my uh, Visual Studio code. Oh well, and uh, what I need to do now, I want to show you uh, I want to show you uh, the necessary command for the docker. The simple command. Uh, so uh, I will start with docker run. So uh, I will start with docker run. Uh, this command will create our uh, container uh, give this container name and if you want to give it password so docker run double dash name and in here you need to put the name of container after that uh, put slash in here and the next step we need to put dash e and in our case, we will use PostgreSQL, so I want to put uh, PostgreS password, uh, which is equal to password. So in here, we, uh, we need to put our password. So, and after that, uh, we need to on the other screen, uh, string, we need to put our port number. Uh, by default, this is 5432. And of course, we need to put our slash in the end of the string. And the last command, it is dash D. And uh, in here, we need to put type of database. So that that's all right. Well, and uh, when you install your Docker desktop for Windows, you will see uh, the icon in here when I push on it. So I already have uh, some not active uh, container. So test Postgres. Uh, in here you will see all your containers uh, which you work with. Well, and uh, let's let's try to create another one. Well, I put this name example. After that I want to put this secret. Uh, you can uh, put uh, another password 
uh, if you want so one to three or maybe some strong password it depends on your purposes so in here we I will put uh, the default port number 5432 and uh, so type of database it will be Postgres it will be Postgres <laughs> So let's try to create our first uh, container. Uh, uh, we need to copy and paste it in here in our terminal. So I use bash terminal and uh, push enter. So it will create uh, our new container. And as you can see, uh, we already have running container example with uh, database Postgre. Well, and uh, this uh, container already running, it is active. So the next comment I want to show you, this is uh, Docker PS. The Docker PS uh, will show our the list of running containers. Well, let's try it out, docker ps, and uh, as you can see on your screens, it gives us uh, only one container example, which is uh, running, which has uh, a green icon. So the next comment, uh, uh, what, what I want to show you, uh, to show us all, all containers, um, it doesn't matter running or not, we need to uh, use all flag. So docker ps and double dash all. So we uh, will see example and test as uh, we, we can see on docker desktop. So the another comment in here, I want to stop my container example. So this easy common docker stop docker stop and container id and uh, let's do it docker stop as you can see it uh, will this comment will change our container to non-active container and uh, the icon uh, is gray now so let's uh, try to to start our container now docker start and the same uh, container id in here so everything is okay and our container is running now so we can uh, easily use it uh, by docker desktop itself just push the button uh, but i want to show you the necessary commands uh, in command prompt uh, which uh, you need to know to understand uh, how to do it uh, by uh, command line so our container is running and it's time to use our debeaver so I have an icon of the beaver here. I will start it. And now we have a blank page. So we need to go to, to go to window, projects, general and connections. So, and I want to uh, make our, our new connection. So I push the right uh, button and go to create connection. In here you can see uh, different databases, uh, it is popular SQL databases, even you can add some no SQL databases. In our example we use PostgreSQL, so I will choose PostgreSQL and push next. So as I mentioned in here, the type of database is Postgres. So, as you can see in here, it is Postgres 2. The username is Postgres and uh, we use password secret. 
uh, which we have, uh, which we need to put the password secret in here. Uh, you can uh, use your own password, but I use secret. So uh, test connection. Everything is OK. It is connected uh, and push finish button. So I will rename this to example. And uh, let's go to Postgres schemas public. And in here uh, in the folder tables, uh, we will see all the tables which we have created. So I want to create some new table. So I go to SQL editor, open SQL script. And in here you can see example. So let's try to create some new table. So create table. Let it be example example main and so the first it is id serial primary oh I'm sorry primary key uh in here I want to name to put name so the first column is ID, the second col column will be name, character, and Brian to 30. Well, character, it means that it is the string and Brian. And Brian to 30. So the next step, it is uh, let it be a date of birthday. Date of birthday. Character, it is the same. But uh, I want to show you. So let's try to execute. Uh, we have some trouble. Let so you uh, don't allow to put some comma in here. So don't forget to delete it in the in the uh, end of your last string. So we will delete it. But uh, the table, uh, the our folded table is uh, empty. Why? So we create uh, we have created our new table, but it is still empty. Uh, so we will just need to refresh it to see our table, new table. So go to the top data and we will see all of our new table columns. So let's do another comment. Let it be insert. Insert into and uh, of course our table example main and in here name and date of birthday and values <laughs> values so it will be so Thomas and the uh, date of birthday will be 1205 and something like that Let's uh, let's do this uh, operation. So we need to make the action like this and push executes SQL. Everything is working great, but we, uh, as I already said, uh, we can't see the uh, differences uh, be before we uh, refresh it. So when we refresh it, we will see our data in here. So to uh, we uh, can uh, do the other operation to see it uh, all all of all uh, of our uh, table members. Uh, we can see with uh, some select 
operation select all from uh, example main. Let's do the separation. So we will see one Thomas and uh, the Thomas data of birthday. So guys, uh, I uh, I hope you understand how to easily uh, create your first database uh, with docker and after that manage this database uh, with uh, the wonderful tool of with the wonderful tool uh, the beaver and uh, that's uh, all for today you can do other operation with database uh, by yourself to train yourself to upgrade your skills uh, that's uh, all for today i um, I hope you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, you will see uh, more useful and good videos on my channel soon. So goodbye guys, uh, see you in the next videos.